Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. What you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Or what you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you? Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. All right, essentially what we have here today is uh, we're going doing a decoy, a prostitution decoy, and... Um, if you see uh, anybody come up and you see that they're armed or anything, uh, uh, try and let us know in a manner that's not going to jeopardize you. Uh, just say, oh, you, you're not going to need that thing to get what you're looking for today, and they're exposing themselves. Uh, just say, uh, see you started without me, or, or give us some kind of an idea along those lines. Uh, does anybody have any questions? All right, guys. Well, good hunting, and everybody be careful out there. What we're doing is we're using a uh, undercover female officer attempt to pick up Johns as they approach her. Uh, these neighbors call, complain about sex acts all in the people's yards and such like that. So hopefully this will kind of slow it down a little bit. Her job is to uh, talk to the Johns. The Johns will come up and, and uh, seek her services. As uh, she has certain things she can do, certain things she can't do. Uh, but eventually, uh, usually a deal is made, and then the takedown units will come in and, and take the John down. One will drive his car back to the staging area. The other one will transport the uh, John uh, for further processing uh, for the arrest. Hey, hey baby. What's up? What's up with you? Huh? Huh? Y'all hot? I'm hot. I'm tired. How about yourself? You look hot and tired. Trying to make some money, baby. That's all. Yeah. Trying to work it. Uh-huh. What you want? I don't, I, I don't need your price down there. I'm, I'm going to do your job for some Depends what you want. I want no but some How about, like how about, how about $10? Well, I don't more. I got set. You got seven? seven? Seven will work for me. Where are we going to go? Let's go around that corner right there. Come on. Seven dollars? Woo! All right, take down unit. Come on in. It'll be a Bravo Mike walking beside her. He's got on a uh, orange and white shirt. Bicycle. And he's on a bicycle. Kim, the unit's coming to take him down. Why don't you peel off to the left? Watch yourself, Kim. Up a little further, a little further. Get off, get off the bike. Get off the bike. Get your hands behind your back. Put your hands up. Relax. How old are you, pardon? 30, 41. You have anything in your pockets? No, sir. The drugs, drug paraphernalia, hanging nails, ready to blaze. Uh, oh, man. Step back here. Partner, have a seat. He has a full bike. Yeah. That turned out pretty good. Um, we didn't have any trouble with him, got him into custody, and it only took us probably about a minute or so, so we're setting up and ready for the next one. Brad, you in position? 1084, if we call up Nelson, are we going to mess up a deal? Talking to a male in a white small car southbound under I 10, no deal yet. 
stand by. 20? 20 will work for me. Can I get my six pack real quick and party a little bit? Give me one second. All right, take Dan Unit. Come on in. He's uh, facing south on Nelson, uh, right at Rayford Street. He's turning west onto Rayford now, just going around the corner. It's a white old one, Bill. And it okay, yeah, turn left here. Turn into that driveway, there you go. How's it going, partner? Doing all right? Yeah. Let's step out of here. Turn towards face the car for me. Okay. I got it. Go to north. Right. Turn your handcuff. You got anything in your pockets that you know about? I got a knife. I'm on my phone. Okay. Got no hand grenades, razor blades, nothing like that, correct? Okay. No drugs, drug paraphernalia? Give me the keys, Tony. Give them out. Here. Got a whole bunch of money there. Okay. Let's go. Get him back to the car. Get him in there. I got the car, Jason. You drive. Okay. Take, take my car. That was in his hand. I don't know if there's. That looks. Doesn't smell like it. This is his. I'll put it on the passenger seat. Okay. All right. Black guy in this van. You just getting done working? Right. You just getting done working? What you want? What you looking for? Uh, no, no usual. What's the usual? I don't know. Everybody's say, different, baby. They gonna say it. I, <laughs> like I said, you know, you do it. I know you ain't the cops and stuff. You know? And the last guy who said that to me, I went to jail. How do I know you ain't? I'm gonna show you. I ain't the cop. Come on, we had to show each other. <laughs> yeah. We had to show each other. Like I said, oh, they, can... uh, uh, I like the other stuff. You like what? Straight sex? Yeah. How much? Uh, you tell me. Twenty. 15, you have 15? That'll work. Well, Straight set. Can I get my smokes? Got them right here, my cigarettes. Let me get my cigarettes. All right, Tony, go ahead and take him down. It's a gray Dodge van, primer colored, right underneath the uh, I 10 on Nelson, black male, facing north. 10 4, we're on it. Your hand, buddy. Put your hands where I can see him. Get out of the car. 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 I ain't did nothing, man. I ain't. Turn around. I ain't did nothing. What I done? Man, stop resisting. Stop resisting. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind my back. Oh, man. Damn. Hey, man, I ain't did nothing. Hold on to the cuff. Hey, man, I ain't did nothing. I'm going to hand behind my back. I ain't did nothing. Relax, man. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. I ain't resisting. My name Robert, man. Stand up. My name Robert. Hey, man, don't talk, man. Damn. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't no dope dealer, nothing. I'm a hard-working man, just like anybody else. We've still got about 45 minutes to an hour of daylight, and then we'll have a couple of hours of darkness that we'll be working after that. Uh, but all in all, we've had a good day today. Uh, no incidents. Uh, everything has gone like clockwork. The takedown units have done well. And uh, it's been a very productive day for the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. When I told my friends back home that I was coming to Jacksonville, a lot of them said, you know, there's a lot of alligators and snakes and bugs and everything. To be uh, honest, I didn't know much uh, about snakes and or alligators. Up where I'm from, there's some uh, snakes, but alligators are few and far between. We're en route to an uh, animal complaint. Uh, lady victim called in, stated uh, there's a snake inside a residence and snake is upset. Uh, she believes she stepped on it. The area we're going to uh, has a lot of uh, marshland around and in between the houses and stuff. Uh, on occasion, you get a couple uh, snakes and alligators that wander from the marsh towards the residences. Uh, a lot of different snakes here in Florida. Most of the time, they're uh, water moccasins or black snakes or gardener snakes. On occasion, you have uh, baby rattlers and uh, some copperheads on occasion.
unknown what type of snake uh, we're going to at this time. I guess we're about here. How you doing? Small? He's pretty long. He's not real fast. Where's he at? He's right behind us. Oh, he's curled up now. What kind of snake is it? I don't know. Why it's like here? a cop or something. Hold on a second, Dave. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on, let me move this first. Let me move this. All right, let me get this out of the way. Let me get this out of the way. That bag open wide. Get in there. Open the bag up. Nope. There you go. Close it up. Snake extermination at your service. Tell us what happened, how you found her in the house and stuff. I live across the street. Oh, the, uh... There's a woman over here that lives here. So I'll tell you about it. She just called me up. She said, I'm up on top of the washing machine. <laughs> up on top of the machine, huh? I don't blame her. Big old snake over here. Come get him. <laughs> so. Piece of cake. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you. Ma'am? You don't have any more in here, do you? I hope not. I mean, I actually did trip over it. He was stuck in between the door and, uh... I called for my neighbor to come and help me, but this is the second one I've had in the house. <laughs> a different snake. How'd you get the first one out? A uh, neighbor came neighbor. and helped me out here by myself. I don't blame you. I hate snakes. I don't like them. They, but not a problem. It, was it the same kind of snake? Do yeah, you know? It's a different type of snake. Was the other one all black or? Uh, sort of a dark gray. And it was in your utility room. It was in the utility room. Can I look if you don't mind? Sure. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It may have been back here a while. <gasps> Wiser. Why do you say that? Because there's snake skin. Do you have an exterminator? You might want to consider getting one. Some skin on the floor. Uh, I don't see any other ones down here. Could have been living in here. The dryer hose right, right back mm -hmm. of the dryer. I don't have my glasses it's very possible it came through there. Oh my gosh. That's a different type, too. It's hard to say. I've never, not real good on them. Mm. But, and you see how your vent is in your dryer? See how the stuff falls out? I mean, there's a hole in it over here. I thought that's why it's hot. Yes, ma'am. it was hot in here, yes. Well. You need to get somebody to replace that for you or tape it up or something. You have any tape? This won't get us too far. I believe the uh, snake came through the vi dryer vent and exited through the hole in the hose for the dryer. Uh, there's still some debris left in it, some skin back here. Hey, Maytag man, are you done yet? Almost. <laughs> Hopefully that'll hold her for a while until she gets a new hose. Okay. 
Book him, Dano. Oh, he's looking at serious time. Trespass. Oh, I love Florida State football. I'm a season ticket holder. We go to all the games. My brother-in-law's a big Gator fan, so we kind of have a little rival every year, you know, in the Florida State Seminoles. Number one, play the Gators are usually, what, 12, 15, something like that. Got a uh, prostitute who's a, so they thought it was a female, turned out to be a male, and they eluded the uh, vice detective, and apparently he's crawled up under a house over here on Fifth Street. So we're going to go see if we can locate him, get him out from underneath the house. Apparently they were trying to do a uh, do a deal, and the deal didn't quite uh, go the way the vice officer thought it should. I guess we'll find out here shortly. Need a machete. You ain't got nothing. What are you running from the police for? I don't, I don't know what the police chasing me for. You don't? You a prostitute? Oh, sir. I You're not? To, I used to. You used to? Yes, sir. How long ago? About two minutes ago? Oh, 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 oh my leg, my leg, my leg. Stand up. Stand my leg, up. My leg, my leg. What's the matter with your leg, man? That's on a tree. Well, it should be hiding behind a tree. My leg, my leg, my leg. Spread your leg. Oh. I don't know me. I don't know. Well, what you running from the police for then? Why did he change you? Huh? Yeah, that's fine. Right. Good. Come on, let's go for a walk. How long ago since it's been you arrested, man? Last year. Huh? Last year. Last year? Yes, sir. For what? I have uh, other four days. How about prostitution? That was not that was years. years ago. Here you go. Come on. Years ago? Yeah. Well, guess what? You got you another one, big guy. I didn't say nothing. You didn't say nothing? Shouldn't be hitting them fences like that, partner. How much was the deal for? $20 for uh, oral sex. $20. He was going to take me to a little spot. He knew a little spot to go. Hey, you got weeds hanging out your pants there, big guy. Is that your friends over there? Oh. Them over there. Yeah. Hang on, man. Get them weeds out of his pants. That's contraband in the jail. Put your foot in there. How bad does his leg hurt? I don't know. He said he hit it over the fence. So I don't know. Hey, man, how bad does your leg hurt? I can't even twist him. What happened to it? I, when I tried to cut around that tree, uh -huh. I stepped in something that... Went one way and I went up. Uh, rescue 742. 742, could you send rescue 1067? Uh, it's a 53 to a leg. You're not bleeding or anything, are you? Yeah. Unit block of, uh, actually 100 block of uh, East 5th Street. You got AIDS or anything, man? No. No? When was the last time you had a test? When I got right out of prison. What'd you go to prison for? Out of prison. Out of prison. How long you been out of prison? About two months. Two months. You got a job? No, sir. I had one. It was on temporary. Doing what? 
moving. Moving. Well, I guess you know you're under arrest, right? Yes. You know what you're under arrest for? Officer tell you that? Huh? No, I'm sorry. He said resisting police. Resisting police officer. That's because you ran from the officer and the others for prostitution. Well, I didn't, I, I didn't say nothing about no money. You didn't? I didn't say nothing about no damn money. $20, oral sex. I didn't say nothing about no, he said that. He did I ain't said nothing. $20 for oral sex. He said that. When was the last time you got arrested for prostitution, man? Two years ago. Two years ago. Where at? Uh, I think we're going to help you. Yeah. All right. Well, you're under arrest. We have a tendency to run across uh, guys out here that are hustling. Um, Pretty much every night that, that we're out, we pretty much run across these guys out here hustling to make a buck here and there. Yeah, there was a, a couple out last night, too, that um, that we noticed. And, of course, they were dressed up like females. There was right. a couple of kids from uh, one of the universities that stopped. They were stopping talking to them. And I asked him, I said, uh, what are you doing out here? He said, oh, nothing, just kind of hanging out. I said, well, you know you're talking to men, right? No. I said, yeah, <laughs> they're men. They're not ladies, OK? So they kind of beat feet right out of here. But, uh, well, it, it'll take them about 20, 25 minutes for them to find out what they're dealing with. Yeah. And yeah. it's a big surprise. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in my little time in, uh, in the vice unit, that's my first one to run for me. So, And that's been two years. So you get something different every night. Yeah. See if we can find another one. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get a 2514 transmit on tech 2. Okay, we'll still send a code 3.